what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, commuted the sentence of his old buddy and campaign advisor, Roger Stone. This happened on July 10th, one week later. This dude is doing a radio interview with Morris O'Kelly. And he's talking to someone on the other end. And he slips up and says, I don't have time to argue with this Negro. And Mo hears him, but so does everybody else. Like the spineless, racist coward he is, he tried to play it off and act like there was some type of uh, disconnection in the phone or something that was going on uh, and with the service. And then he comes back several moments later and tries to act like he didn't know what was going on. Like, hello, hello, hello. You know how it is when somebody accidentally says something, you accidentally say something or somebody accidentally says something on the other end and then they try to play it off, you know, or you hear something on the other end and you try to play it off. This is what happened. So he tries to play it off and Mo like, man, did you, go? you know, what happened just now? Did you just call me a Negro? And he's like, no, no, I didn't. I, 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 are you crazy? I, all that kind of stuff, you know. I wouldn't do that. I, 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 I. Let's take a look at his crimes. He was convicted of seven felonies, including lying to investigators and witness tampering. So once again, the good old boys is looking out for the good old boys. He let his pot in the go. You know the old saying, birds of a feather flock together. We all know that Trump is a card-carrying member of the KKK. To be his friend, you have to be that type of person because no decent human being, no civilized human being would want anything to do with him. But I understand we live in the kind of world where people just want to kick it trying to get paid, take a picture so they can act like they're somebody and take a picture with a nothing dude like him. It is no surprise that one of Trump's homies used that type of language. His own niece said that he used that type of language growing up. In fact, she said her whole family used that type of language. This is who they are. This is the way they behave. This is the way they talk. The trip part about it is you have people who are totally uncouth, no class whatsoever, trying to look down on others. Anyway, fam, Roger Stone, he's out for now. There are some questions that he could be charged again in the future. This dude is one of the worst. Just like his buddy Trump, birds of a feather flock together. You resemble who you assemble. And Roger Stone resembles a Klansman. Just like Trump, just like his daddy and his daddy daddy and his daddy daddy and his daddy daddy and his daddy daddy and his mammy. No more talk. What the mate is talking about?